Enigma Hood. I already shared the stream, so let's just get right into it. I'm in the mood to just get right into it. 726. Like the um, yesterday, yesterday I didn't uh, have much. Like well, I didn't have any caffeine, so that's why I was kind of lethargic, honestly. <laughs> so I need to, I need to get, get myself a pick me up. Oh, I can't exactly chug this; it's hot. Like but let death. me take a few more sips. Yeah, so there is a sequel to this game, Infamous 2. There's also a third game. Better off if the blast killed you. Um, that's the thing that a lot of people forget. The, the Second Son is actually the third game. I don't know if there was one ever released on a portable system like the Vita or anything. But... Side quest? Tied down. Mission start. Need you to nab some Reapers for us. Don't kill them. We need them alive so that we can get information out of them. For Reapers. You know, these idiots, they were attacking me non-stop before. Now I can't find any of them.
time. Every time I knock one out, they go flying off the, the side. Oh, cool. I like that. Hey, Cole! Just wanted to let you know the crime is way down. It's good to see. Keep it up, brother! Alright, that's cool. So when you, when you start doing this stuff... guys because they're annoying me. Crowds of people are being rounded up. Do something!
find this thing. This is the location. It's around here. He's not seeing this. It 
it's like tech quan do soft tech one do software does this thing tell me where tech one do software is well oh, that's a medical clinic okay This is... This is a park. Buzz off, Mac! Like steel girder things. Yeah, this... This is it. Whoa. You would think that you would be able to see Taekwondo software. Like a big sign for it. Oh wait, I see it now. Taekwondo, it was so blurry, that's why I couldn't see it. I'll kill you! Oh I see it, I see it. Self bastard! see this place come back to life. You do good work, brother. Awesome. Alright. I like this. I like the side missions. I like how complete side missions lets you regain territory. It's an interesting take on the open world formula, you know. It's not it's not like a GTA clone. It's doing its own unique thing. As far as I know, I mean Probably there were similar games, like Prototype, and some Spider-Man open world games were probably similar, but this is probably better than those things. I'll be right back.
back. Sorry about that. Let's continue on. Let me let me take a swig of my coffee. Where are we going? Up here. I mean, you can't turn that race fear over to the feds, man. Do I have a choice? Man alive! Do you know what they'll do with something like that? Especially if the Pentagon is wrapped up in all this. It's an ultimate weapon. And what's your suggestion, Jedediah? We hide it under your couch? Only my mama calls me Jedediah. That's not important right now. Listen, I say we crack that baby open and give everyone powers. The only way to make sure we don't get screwed. Yeah, I think we're already screwed. Man alive. There's a man alive in the man is guilty of all the good he did not do. <laughs> That's an interesting way of putting it. I flagged the position of the next substation in your GPS goal. Uh, shouldn't I be hunting for John in the race sphere? You need to look at the big picture. Every time you restore electricity to a section of the city, your powers escalate. I'd say that's a valuable use of your time. I'll be in touch once you get the substation back online. Hell yeah. You know, this game is cool with the powers and stuff like that. I almost feel, though, like it's kind of cliche for him to have electric powers because he reminds me too much of, like, Electro from Spider-Man and stuff like that. I don't know. It's like a small thing, it, it, it just makes me, it makes it feel a little too cliche, you know, electric powers, like, oh, come on, isn't that a little, little done before-ish? It's been done. It's all been done. Ooh, ooh, ooh. it's all been done. It's all been done. Listen, the Reapers installed surveillance equipment on our building. Disable that junk. Crouch a little bit. Oh, he can't crouch? He can only take cover.
There we go. I see some more. There's one over there. I see it. I mean, Lexi class. Sure has a. It can melt more easily than uh, than glass does. Um, I mean, <clears throat> I'm not really sure if glass would need to be replaced by plexiglass anyway. I mean the. Windshields that cars use, they're quote unquote shatterproof. They've been treated to prevent shattering anyway, so. It's basically glass that's been sandwiched between, uh. uh like a coating. People are really starting to clean up this place. The it's about time. Shattering the smell was bad enough to places. knock a buzzard right off the proverbial wagon. It really doesn't need to be replaced by plexiglass anyway. It was actually accidentally discovered by a chemist. Some chemicals covered a, uh, a flask, a glass of flask of his, and then he accidentally dropped it. This is the anecdote, anyway. And then uh, he knows. 
windows that didn't shatter. I know. At first he just kind of dismissed the discovery and didn't really pay much attention to it until he read about someone dying in the news from shattered glass in a car accident. You know, their face was disfigured. installed surveillance devices on our building. Please disable them. More of these things? Oh, come on. Excuse me. I didn't want to do this again. undergoes something called elastic deformation rather than plastic deformation. It's ironic because most plastics actually don't undergo plastic deformation. There's two types of deformation. There's plastic deformation and elastic deformation. Plastic deformation means you can deform a substance and then after you deform it, it remains in, in that, uh, it doesn't recover, it doesn't rebound back into its original shape. Most metals undergo plastic deformation. Um, you know, kind of like how Superman bends an iron bar. When he deforms it, it does not turn back into its original shape. It remains in the deep shape. That's plastic. Elastic deformation means when you deform it, it'll re it'll return back to its original shape. So an example of that is like plexiglass. Like you can bend plexiglass, right? And that's deforming it. But once you remove the stress don't know how long I sat strapped to that chair. It'll At least a couple of hours. Its original shape. Finally, the bag was removed, and this brute of a man stood in front of me. Had to be seven feet tall That's and 400 deep. pounds. He told me that he was going to beat me. And if I wanted him to stop, I'd have to do it mentally, with my mind. Then he punched me in the face. A substance that does not undergo elastic deformation... Or, excuse me, does not undergo plastic deformation is described as brittle. That's why glass is brittle, because it does not undergo plastic deformation. If you try to bend glass, it doesn't deform like metal does. It fractures. Plexiglass, like most plastics, once they're in a solid form, they'll undergo elastic deformation by quite a quite a significant degree. But they usually don't undergo plastic deformation. Which is ironic since it's named after plastics. Plastics usually undergo plastic deformation if they're heated up. If it's hot, then yes, it will. You can deform it, or on, and it won't fracture. You can bend it. But at room temperature, when it's uh, in a 
solid form, as opposed to a semi-liquid form, or a malleable form, then no. So I am actually using a, a plexiglass thing on my coffee table, because the original glass, there's like a glass cover, or not, not really a cover, just like a, a glass film, whatever you want to call it, paint. Glass paint, you want to call it. Uh, it, it shattered um, by accident. So we went, I went to a, a hardware store and I got a plexiglass film paint cut into the same size. Why can't I go this way? And it's a lot more resistant to fracture. Big light. Yeah, that, I, I heard it's either a plastic or a ceramic, whatever it is. It's a much harder substance than normal plastics. Corpses don't smell this. It's not called ash asphalt. It's asphalt. That's just how. That's just Thunderfoot's pronunciation of it. He's pronounced because he's British, so he has this thick British accent. So he pronounces asphalt asphalt, which is weird. Yeah, it, it's asphalt. By the time they can come out with better materials to use in optical discs, we won't be using optical discs anymore. I mean, already they're on the decline. You know, like, when was the last time you used your, your optical drive in your computer for anything? I mean, most games you can get digitally, movies you can get digitally. Obviously, there are Blu-rays that you can still get, but most people, they just don't end up using them that often because there's Netflix. Like, I used Netflix a few times before, and yeah, you know, you can get better quality on Blu-ray still, but that's going to change anyway because, you know, as uh, people's internet improves, you're going to be able to stream 4K video no problem. I mean, YouTube already allows you to stream 4K on some videos. They, they have that already. So, I wouldn't be surprised if Netflix has employed that in at least a limited sense. I mean, there might there's probably some, some movies on Netflix that are 4K, I mean. Yeah, optical media, that's going down the tubes, man. Everything's gonna be digital, you can either store it on, you know, SD cards, micro SD cards. You 
don't need uh, those optical discs anymore. The good thing about optical discs, though, is that they are highly resistant to water. Because it's plastic, and plastic is very resistant to water damage. So it has that going for it. So if you live in like an underwater sanctuary or whatever, then maybe it might be useful there. But also, like generally speaking, I don't like optical discs because. They're slow, and optical disc drives have moving parts because you need to spin the disc. So they're always going to be slower. Hey, Chertka, what's up? Chertka, wouldn't you agree with me when I say that optical discs are going to go obsolete one of these days? Don't you think the future is going to become like digital? We're going to go gonna get rid of optical discs sooner or later. I mean, we're already pretty much facing them out. Pretty much already, they're on the decline. Their real advantage back in the day was they were so cheap compared to cartridges, you know? And they could hold, hold a lot of stuff. Yeah, Sony already came out with a higher capacity optical disc. The archival disc, which I just mentioned, but they don't even—they didn't even implement it <coughs> because they know that there's no point. There's just no point. Where, is, where are these the last three ones? Let's see. Oh, wait. SD, yeah. SD is already going down in price so much. Micro SD. And they're better. Because they're faster. And they're smaller. Just so much better. Yeah, I'm not gonna miss CDs and DVDs and all that. It's just... It's so annoying to have your entire, like, I, I need to have, like, a whole bookshelf full of, like, DVDs and Blu-rays. You don't need that. I can keep my whole movie collection on one little microchip. That's all I need. And it's faster. It loads faster and everything. Cheaper to ship an 8 gigabyte SD card with the magazine instead of small amounts of DVDs. Mm hmm. Yeah. Times have changed. Have they? Oh, God. Yes, they have. Yeah, 8 gigabytes for an SD card is not the amount. I actually have a 200 gigabyte micro SD card in my tablet, and it's Amazing, I love it. You can store so much stuff on it. As long as you don't have too many high definition movies on it, you can store so many movies. That's the only thing, you know, high definition, like with 4K, every time we get higher capacity media, we get higher quality media. So you can hold your entire movie collection on a little microchip like that. As long as it's all in standard definition, but if you go into like 4K, you know, you could have a few HD movies there, but like if you want your whole collection on in 4K, then yeah, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for a micro SD card or an SD card that can hold the whole thing. Oh, here's another one. The great thing about emulation though, 
is all those old uh, ROMs on the Neo Geo and stuff like that, they're tiny. <laughs> you can hold so many Neo Geo games. You have Neo Geo games on your uh, Android device, right, Tripka? I finally got MAME working on my tablet. So, so nice. I can fit all my, my Neo Geo games, no problem. Oh, really? Yeah, that's the problem with CDs. Um, even though they, they do have pretty good water resistance, they are vulnerable to something called CD rot. CD rot's no good. It'll, it'll corrupt your CDs. A lot of people did predict CDs to be quite durable and lasting very long. That's only if the CDs were, were high quality CDs that were printed in high quality. If you have like a whole bunch of those CDRs, those usually don't have very good quality. They weren't printed with quality in mind, so they are very susceptible to CD rot. That's when moisture gets inside of that fucking thing and rots away at the data. And then makes it makes it no good. Yeah, for the higher quality ones. But for CDRs, like back in the back in like the late nineties, early two thousands, even yeah, mid two thousands, we all used CDRs and DVDRs of course. Um, to back our shit up. But I have the same problem as Chertka, you know, a lot of those things. They're, they're, they're rotting. CD rot. And the data's moving corrupt in them, so you can't use them. It's no good. Oh man, where are these last two ones? No, we have three more to go. Where are they? Uh, let's see, maybe... Maybe I'll jump onto this building here and take a look. Actually, oh, okay, there, there they are. There's one... Two, I, I see two here, so let's get these now. Yeah, hopefully, uh, if I were to guess, micro SD and SD cards, they're gonna last longer than the optical discs. They probably aren't quite as resistant to water damage as optical discs are, but as long as you keep them away from water, they should do fine. Sure, we'll get it one day, or something like it. Just saw some people hanging posters up. Got your face plastered all over them. Now that's publicity. All right, let's do a main mission now. We did like a whole bunch of uh, side missions. Ready for the main missions. Hundreds of hundreds of terabytes in a cubic centimeter. It's like a cube. So like just like in science fiction, we had like those crystal cubes that hold things. Cubic 
with Sinnery or Cube. Unfortunately, that... Wouldn't that fit in like a smartphone like device? That might fit. You have like a cubic centimeter. A little, little cube that you have to put in your smartphone or tablet. I guess it wouldn't work on like those really, really flat ones. You saw some of those uh, prototype uh, rollable displays. Hey Moya, I'm down in the maybe. sewer. Should have the power yeah, back on in no time. Maybe we need to have some kind of hardware there. That science fiction is based on real scientific research. Yeah, we we will we'll always see like these like new like these like hollow cube things in science fiction. So we might get something like that in reality. That's Better than the, hey. the, 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 that idiot from uh, Jet, Jet Radio. He used to think he was pretty righteous, but now he spends half his time trashing you. Makes me think you should pay him a little visit. Believe me, I'd love to. No idea where he's hiding, though. Probably holding up at the old TV station over in the storing district. You find him, you give him a taste of the good stuff. He's got to learn not to run his mouth all the time. I guess, well, I shouldn't say anything's possible. There will be a limit in terms of once we get down to, like, the, the, the atoms. The atomic level. There might be a limitation somewhere. I suppose. But even then, they can still figure out some tricks. they needed to make a new metric abbreviation, they would. It's not like there's nothing known beyond it, they can just... There's no need to make anything beyond it at the moment, but if they ever did need it, something to be made beyond it, then they would. YouTube will shell and own sun to gain enough energy to keep videos a thousand years.
I wonder if we'll ever get like super games in the future. Where we can have like super computers running games. That's kind of like an idea that I had. You know how you have like cloud gaming? You can have like super computer, like a super gaming PC. You'd have to have multiple of them. You would have to have many of them, but like they wouldn't have to be located in someone's home at least. And then you could just use then you could just stream it via cloud cloud computing, cloud gaming kind of shit. I mean you'd have to be connected to the internet in order to do something like that, but for multiplayer games, that'd be a fine idea. And it's all heavily contingent upon whether or not uh, have high speed internet in the future, like even much faster than what we have right now, which I believe will happen. I mean, they are definitely working on a worldwide wireless network where you can get super fast internet anywhere in the world. Wirelessly. That they would like to do that. Will they be able to do that? Yeah, I think so. That's also the other advantage if you're connected. And they know what you're looking at, what you're watching. It's invasive. We don't want that.
If I run XP, good. But yeah. Good work, Cole. When you're ready, I've got a couple of any things I'd like you to look into. Technology can be abused. One of them might lead us to John. Everything has the potential for abuse. Shall we do a side quest? Deranged maniacs are busting on my clinic. Can you deal with them? Please, you've got to chase them down and get my supplies back. targeted ad advertising. They want to know what, what kind of shit they're looking at so they can target ads. things that you don't care if other people hack into, you know. That's how you gotta deal with that stuff. Seven zip? Oh yeah. Yeah, her, I, I'm, I'm, I use those things. Well, sometimes the files I download are that form. Alright, good, we got a new chunk. Uh, this is what I like about this game. It's kind of similar to San Andreas in the sense that you can... Saw some woman pulling the boards off her windows. <laughs> I couldn't believe it! Territory. I guess she's not worried about people busting in there anymore. And then bad guys don't spawn in that territory that you uh, reclaimed. Mugger! Mugger! supposed to do that push you're a living third rail stay in contact with the lead car and it should move okay you guys know what a third rail is
lot of subways using them. Basically, it's an electrified track. Instead of having wires overhead, third rail's a lot better. I'm sure the, the wires have some advantages over the third rail, but it cuts down on uh, space. Stay calm in there. Okay, no problem. Torchlight uh, 2, isn't that like the Apple? Reapers must have disengaged the low voltage feeder box that's mounted under the tracks. Charge it until it's green across the board. That should get you moving again. I'll go look for it. Some of the changes they made over Diablo 2, but they needed to make it better. Also, I would have preferred a more gritty art style. Ah, oh, crap. Hopefully, they'll make it Diablo. Connect. 
character classes did they have in Torchlight 2? I have to say that the wizard and the barbarian were pretty good in Diablo 3. I like that. I didn't like the Crusader. Yeah, I didn't like it. Get it so that it homes in on the, the guy. This is a shockwave. This we should probably use. Increase melee. Damage. Let's get that because that's pretty useful.
Maybe I should have gotten the the defensive upgrade. Almost we can. assholes are
Yeah, that was kind of an issue that I had with the other one. It was a little bit of Um, Barbarian was still powerful. Obviously, you can you can you can increase the difficulty. You can play on very hard, much harder mode and stuff like that. So there is that. But I don't know, the game is just missing something. It felt a little, a little too basic. <laughs> explosions going around like too many dudes like electric dudes dying on them like the assault rifle guys those aren't a problem guys you have to dodge the, those attacks but sometimes there's no room to dodge That's the thing that's annoying about those guys, is they teleport. Too many of them, man. We got, yeah, I think that's kind of the best strategy, to run, run into an alley. <clears throat> this game reminds you of Prototype 1 and 2? Yeah, yeah that, that comparison has been made a lot. Similar kind of game, you know, where you have an open world, but you have superpowers, as opposed to, you know, driving around a la GTA. I actually mentioned a little bit about Prototype earlier. I only played the demo of it. Um, from what I heard, this is the better game between the two. Um, but this was a PlayStation exclusive, so it was not released on anything. Splatter moves. Yeah, I only played the demo of Prototype. It seemed kind of cool, but the graphics, they look pretty ugly. Um, I'm sure the, the gameplay made up for it. Though. Hey, X Infected. Those guys are called conduits, it seems. I think we got them. I think we got them all. 
Yeah, that was the tactic. You gotta lure them into an alley. Did you uh, beat Prototype 1? Did you beat the game? Bam. Too long, huh? Kinda gave up on the game eventually. Kinda overstayed its welcome. Alien Isolation. Zax, I, I streamed that game. On Twitch, you were there. <clears throat> Gave up after playing at 80%, huh? Early, early in the stream. you from 35% which they would end well based on what you've seen so far church goat what do you think about this game because this this game I'm enjoying this one Yeah, it was in the pre-X infected days. It does have difficulty spikes, yeah. It's alright, um, the difficulty spikes I'm okay with. Once you kind of figure out what you need to do, it's not too bad. And also you can upgrade your guy. Wow. Well, why don't you go watch that video and you tell me whether I like it or not. It's on Enigma Gaming. Infamous Second Son has a fire guy in it. silent, a little bit too loud, a little headache. I can, I can turn it down a little bit more if it's a little bit too, too much. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear you have a, a little bit of a headache. Alien Isolation had good graphics, yeah. I'll give it that. Unfortunately, like, it, it was very dark, though. Um, 
and the indoor environments got very repetitive. But yeah, the graphics were good. But like when you're inside of just like some space station thing the whole time, it gets really dull. It gets old. Because you're looking at the same thing over and over again. You want some variety. <clears throat> Honestly, the best Alien game I've played is a game called Alien Infestation for the Nintendo DS. That's a Metroidvania style game. Chutka, I think maybe you played that game before. Hey, Nilavani! How are you doing, Nilavani? Bunny, what kind of games are you playing these days? I'm curious. What kind of video games you playing? Hey, Dragon Gamer, what's up? Man, this part. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, you know what? You know what? We're upgrading. We're gonna do this. Alright. problem like I you can't hit moving targets using dual analog that's not gonna happen alien infestation or aliens the arcade game made by Konami those are the best alien games alien vs predator by Capcom that's also really good the arcade game that is not the not the FPS games. Although those some of them I heard are okay. I just didn't play them that much. Like what the hell? Shadow Burst. Why does that sound familiar to me? Nilvan, did you play any like mobile games like when you're out and about? So like what did you do on the airplane ride? Did you play any, any games on like your, did you bring any portable gaming devices or did you play any games on your phone? Remind me what Shadow Versus. Sounds familiar. Shadow Versus is mobile. Mobile. So you play, oh okay, so that's the game you've been playing. You must have played that on the airplane too. Just bust out your phone on the airplane and start like playing the card game or something. AVP one was great. You talking about the FPS game? So you've been in kind of like a card game kind of mood, huh, Nilavani? Because I know you played, you were playing Hearthstone before, right? You went from Hearthstone to Shadowverse. Oh, I get it. It's because you're like a, a Magic the Gathering nerd. Magic the Gathering. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, I should play some of those games. Come on. What? More range on my melee. Ugh. Keep hitting the wrong buttons. These guys, these like flame guys. Hit the wrong button again. Alright, we're out of juice. What am I doing? I I I, I keep you can you can spam the fuck out of this thing. I should just do this more often. Haven't played Hearthstone in a while? Shadowverse is the way to go, huh? Magic the Gathering, gathering is like the, the creme de la creme, huh? Elder Scrolls card game? There's a, there's a Dark Souls board game, I wanna get that. 
AVP1. Yeah, one of these days I should play that one. I think it's on good old games, right? I want to get that Dark Souls board game. <laughs> it looks kind of interesting. Even if I never play it, it's just like a, such a collector's item. I don't know if it's... It might be overpriced now, though. I don't know. Uh, what's the best way to climb up here? Yeah, that's the problem. I'm sure there might be, like, some online fan versions where they have, like, all the cards available so you don't have to buy them. I know in Yu-Gi-Oh! There's some fan Yu-Gi-Oh! online games where you can do that. That's that's the way that should be. You're almost there. I let everyone know that you're bringing in the train, and they'll be waiting at the station. Don't let them down. Here we go. Out of the way, D-Bags. So what does everyone think about this game so far? I'm curious. Oh man. Ah! No, <laughs> virtual booster packs, that's such, because, you know, like, when I, when I was younger, and even now, we would always say, like, they make so much money off of paper. Little pieces of paper, they, they managed to figure out a way to charge hundreds of dollars for paper. <laughs> now they don't even need to spend money on, on the paper, they just need... <laughs> they, they make money off of just data. Little bits of data. You're liking this game, Novani? Good. Yeah, it's a pretty cool game, I like this. Here we go. Sometimes it takes... A little bit of time to get around to these games that have been out for so long. But, uh, you know what? Fuck you. Oh, come on. They managed to figure out a way to make money off of little bits of paper. Here we go. What is that? That's a machine gun. Here, go ahead and spam this thing. Yeah, spamming the lightning bolt is not a bad idea. There's no ammo for it. Here we go. <laughs> Counterfeit cards. But don't they have, like, ways of detecting the counterfeit cards? Don't they have, like, a little hologram thing on it to ensure authenticity or whatever? Here we go. Certificate of authenticity. How is that guy not dead? I think we got them all. Whoa! Fucker! I think we got it. Evil? Man, now you tell me. Are you sure? Can can I do both? I thought I could maybe do both.
local turn. <laughs> Have you ever played in a tournament, Nilavani? Holy shit. The geekdom is off the charts here. Don't tell me you play in my tournaments and shit in like real life. Yeah, you played this game before, didn't you, X Infected? You beat this game? Imagine Nilavani showing up to like a Magic the Gathering tournament with her little deck. I'm here to pwn your asses. Nilavani, what do you keep your deck in? Do you have like a little case or some shit? <laughs> Got like a little like case for your deck? Played all three? Yeah, that's right, there's three of them. Back in high school? <laughs> they don't take kindly to losing their girl. Have them in sleeves. <laughs> you keep them in your sleeves. <laughs> you keep the cards in, in, like, up your sleeves, like you have, like, a little sleeve compartment for the cards. The crowd was surprised to see the terrorists roll up and free their loved ones. Hypocrites. Yesterday they wanted my head on a platter. Now they act like I'm one of the family. But truth be told, it was nice, even for that short time. Oh, plastic treated like a hero. Oh, right, right. Oh, you, you, oh no. You scan the crowd for jobs. Nilavani, she has, like, those station. little protector cases for each Who's individual card. Holy shit, that's, like, so geeky, man. Oh, so you do that kind of shit? Oh, man, that's crazy. <laughs> so, like, each, like, each individual card is in, like, one of those little protector sleeves. Yeah, it's like a little condom wrapper for each each individual card. <laughs> yeah, and it, it it's to protect the the quality of the card during play. I must protect my cards from damage. So how do we? do evil things. We need to do like the evil quests. I like doing this. This is fun. Here's here's a side quest. So what kind of decks do you have? Like how ma how many how many decks do you have? Do you have like 50 billion decks with like different themes or do you have just like one main deck? Every player keeps them in protectors. Oh, that's what you call them, protectors. See, that's the official official name, protectors. Sounds like one of the Reaper's couriers is making a run through here. Look into it. Oh, the courier. Oh, that's him. Kill and suck sibs? Okay. I gotta follow this guy. <laughs> Fuck. Got two decks. 100 card deck, which is for commander, and a 60 card one for normal. Commander? The Levani's dropping all the, the Magic the Gathering jargon. 
100 card deck. In Yu-Gi-Oh, you usually keep your deck around uh, 40 cards. I guess in Magic the Gathering, sometimes it's advantageous to have a bigger deck. take Magic the Gathering pretty seriously. I can tell they do. <laughs> Absolutely they do. Been looted by friends? So your friends actually stole your, your best cards? Oh shit, man, every fucking time. I didn't give it an average score. Are you kidding me? I hated that game. Mana colors, green, white, and black. Never play red or blue. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right. You gotta use mana in order to use magic and Magic the Gathering. And Yu-Gi-Oh, you can use magic all you want. Don't need any mana. Originally there weren't tokens, or at least there weren't a lot of tokens. But then they, they kind of crapified the whole game with tokens. Like, tokens out of their ass for all these different cards, it's so annoying. That was the whole advantage of Yu-Gi-Oh! over Magic the Gathering. You didn't need all those fucking tokens and like flipping coins and stupid shit like that. It was fucking retarded. It's like, let's, let's use our tokens to keep track of the mana and all this other stupid shit. It's like, we don't need fucking tokens in, in Yu-Gi-Oh! And then they started adding tokens. It was so fucking stupid. Where'd he go? I lost him. I've increased my attack power by 500 points. I need a token to keep track of that. cards. Whoa. Every fucking time, man. I need to stay on top. Yes, right? Yeah, that's the best way to do it. I'm losing track of them. It's over where? Over there? Black Lotus? Oh yeah, I heard about that. I have heard about the Black Lotus. <clears throat> Good. See, this is one of the cool things about this game. Like, you can retake territory so enemies will not spawn uh, in these areas I'm anymore. I'm so dang glad I don't have to wade through eight feet of garbage anymore. Man, people really turning this place around. So what does the Black now? Lotus do? Things will be back to normal. Do you play Dungeons and Dragons, Dragon Gamer? <clears throat> so, like, the way that game works is, like, you have, like, a game master, right? 
and like he like controls everything. Do you like use like like figures and stuff and like like maps or anything like that and you like lay them out and you put them on the map and like okay I'm gonna move over here now and then like the game master makes up some some shit okay, you're traversing a thick forest there's the smell of foul demons in the air and shit like that I've never played D&D before Should we do another side quest or go straight for the main quest? Adds three mana of any color to your choice. A mana pool. Oh, okay. Gives you more mana. See, that would be useless in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because in Yu-Gi-Oh! You don't... There's no mana in the game. You can use all the... You could have an entire deck filled with magic... With... Yeah, magic cards. If you wanted to. If you so choose. Man, these guys are so annoying. Yeah, once you do more side quests, you get to retake more territory, which is pretty cool. Yeah, basically the way it offsets, you know, spamming magic is... Like, the fact that you can only draw one card at a time. So, like, having... they call that, like, hand advantage. The, the more cards you have in your hand, the better off you are. I think in Magic the Gathering you can like draw two cards every turn. In Yu-Gi-Oh it's just one card. My mana pool is too low. I require mana. Oh, it's only one card, really? Because, like, I played some other shitty games made by <laughs> Magic the Gathering, like other shitty uh, card games made by these guys. What are they called? Wizards of the Coast? That's actually kind of a cool name. Um, they made Battletech, because I used to be, like, a huge Battletech slash MechWarrior fan back in the day. So they had a mech, they had a battle tech card game too. So I, I did did that. You could draw two cards in that. And they also made the Pokemon card game. That was so fucking boring. And that also used like a shit ton of fucking tokens. It's like why the fuck do you need to have so many fucking tokens? Stupid as hell. So fucking boring too. Like both of those games were so boring and not fun. That's why they like. I don't know if people still play Pokemon, but like nobody plays fucking Battletech anymore because it's boring. <laughs> like who the fuck wants to play Battletech? But the artwork for those cards was really good. It was, it was really good for, for most of them, at least. The Reapers are moving one of their trucks near here. It's passing through the alley right now. Destroy the truck. Not a problem. Fuckers, come on. Get out of the fucking way. Stupid fucks. All of you must die for your crimes against me. Oh, well. Yeah, I heard about that game. That looks good. I want to play the original one first, though. Like, it's getting, like, really good reviews. I was like, holy shit. And this is, like, a, a Western RPG, kind of like a classic-style RPG. Oh, no Mac version? Then maybe I should try out the original. Would you guys like to see a stream of that one day? I was thinking about that. 
mind trying it. It might be cool. It should work on like a lower end PC too, right? I mean, it doesn't look all that graphically advanced, but it still looks good. It kind of reminds me of Baldur's Gate or Neverwinter Nights, except looks better, much better. Okay, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll look into that. It's hard? Yeah. What, what's it like? Is it like Baldur's Gate? The combat is like, uh, automatic, right? Like they attack automatically like in Baldur's Gate and Dragon Age. Hits does it take to kill these idiots? Oh, it's turn based. Really? Just like Fallout 1. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. Did they change it for the sequel at all? Or. I thought that was like maybe continuous. Like uh, Dragon Age. I want, I want that dude's attack. Like, look at that attack. That's insane. It's so much better than mine. Look at that fucking thing. I want that. Give me it. Oh, come on. I was so close. Oh, we got to do it all over again? This, this is a hard sight. Look at the range of that stupid thing. It's still coming. And it tracks you. That's insane. It moves. Okay, I think I killed all the D bags. Yeah, I was kind of like looking, f looking for a RPG like that. I was thinking of, you know, Baldur's Gate, maybe Icewind Dale, and then here we have a new game. Also, you know the other RPG I always want to play? Planescape Torment. Trika, you ever play that one? Planescape Torment? I heard that's good. These guys, are they shooting at me? Environmental damage. Oh, that's cool. Just hope I like it because Neverwinter Nights got good reviews and I didn't like that game. In all fairness though, they kind of designed that primarily as a multiplayer game. So that might be why I didn't like it because I didn't play it uh, online. I think you can still play it online. I think there are fan servers and stuff. That's a good thing about PC gaming uh, because uh, even if the official servers go down, fans will make their own servers to keep it alive. Had no time to play it. There's never any time. Too many good games, huh? Chirka hasn't even beaten Witcher 3 yet. How can he play Divinity 2 when he hasn't even Witcher 3 yet. Don't you wish sometimes you could play like five games at once? Like you could go into like a virtual reality simulator and just like play five games all at the same time. Oh, come on!
Maybe maybe it's time for an upgrade. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some upgrades. I think we have enough for something decent. This could be good. Maybe I need this. I like how it's red when you're evil. Maybe we should do that. Alright. Oh, it's multiplayer co op? Oh, cool. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll get it and if anyone wants to do co op with me. For fuck's sake, the battery? Man, I fucking hate the battery on this fucking thing. It dies in two seconds. You know you know what controller has the best battery life? The Wii U Pro Controller. That's really good. That thing almost never dies. You have to charge it like once a month. Maybe even less. Yes for Catalonia, yeah, I, I, there was no, no doubt in my mind, like, it was overwhelming, wasn't it? Like, it was, uh, like, over 90%. Spanish crackdown injured 700 people. Did you see the, the news report about, in Bar Barcelona, the police were firing rubber bullets and using the batons on people to prevent them from going to the polling stations? Yeah. That's that's what BBC said. That's crazy. Look at that shockwave thing. It doesn't stop. Is the uh, dragon still here? I have a question for you. Can we get up, get all the upgrades for the good side, and then turn bad and get all the upgrades for the bad side, so that we can like supercharge our ability so that they're even better? That's kind of what I wanted to do. Fucks. These electric dudes are insane. <laughs> Is he dead finally? He's finally dead. Okay. They were beating people and dragging them around. Prince. They were singing songs from Francisco Franco fascist times. <laughs> they stormed the polling stations and shot peaceful people trying to protect themselves. Yeah, they were just trying to they were just trying to vote. Like I mean, this is unprecedented where you have police deterring people from going and voting democratically by shooting rubble rubber bullets at them and uh, and hitting them with batons. This is supposed to be a democratic country in in in, what, in the western world. That's unbelievable. Speaking of Spain, has anyone seen that movie, uh, Pan's Labyrinth? My ex-girlfriend, uh, I watched that with my ex-girlfriend once. Pan's Labyrinth.
on, that didn't that didn't kill him? That got me down. Can we put sanctions on Spain or are sanctions only reserved to non-Western countries like North Korea, Venezuela, and Russia? Yeah. Yeah, can we? I'm sorry. I mean those are re restricting people's ability to vote is a human human rights violation. Oh, those are tar trucks. I can't die now. I can't. I got so far. Oh no! That is unrighteous. Then Spain should take it down at court. Otherwise, they should have a public discussion. Deny and force is a bad strategy. No matter what, you have to let the people vote. <laughs> you can't, you can't not let them vote. If they want to secede, that's and it's being laid down to a vote, then that's their choice. If that's what they want, and that's what they want. And it's overwhelmingly in support of independence. like Spain either. So fuck them. All the shit that they did in the new world, colonizing and killing everyone, coming jet inside. Couldn't give a flying fuck. Ah. Hopefully they'll outlaw bullfighting in Catalonia because they kept on talking about how bullfighting was finally going to become outlawed in Spain and never happened. So enough's enough. Maybe after they get independence they'll do that.
anyone ever see that movie Screamers? Remember how those uh, Screamers, they burrow, under, burrow underground? They come right at you? That's what that attack kind of reminds me of. Yeah, I like that movie. It's kind of like a B... It's kind of like a B movie, but it's done well and it's compelling. It's based on a short story. Ever saw that one? It actually stars the guy from Robocop. What's his name? I got his name. Guy who played Robocop. Yeah, he's in it. This is a side mission, by the way. We're, we're dying so much on a side mission. Who, who is shooting at me? I'm gonna die. I would support it too, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Let them leave. Side quest for getting our asses. I, I came so close once. How would racism and xenophobia be exacerbated? I don't understand that. Talking about California, not Quebec. made out of the other one blew up so easily there we go that's all I had to do holy crap
That is true. That's a good point, Nilo Ryan. The Democrats would lose a big chunk of their voting base. Hopefully, I will. May I, I may have may move out this of America like the by then. All over again. Why aren't you stopping this? I blew up a whole tanker full of that stuff under the park. Figured that would do it. Well, it's coming from somewhere. These people aren't getting sick on their own, Cole. I'll find out what's going on. Hey, Moya, it's that black tar again. There's sick people all over the place. The only remaining source of water in that I can't area even drink my, my, my drinks All right. without being attacked I'll by these idiots. See what I can do. Yeah, America would be fucked if uh, California seceded. <laughs> There's no question about that. But that's America's problem. We don't really care. <laughs> are all over the place up here. There's a weird metal keg attached to the water tower. Tar is dripping out of it. That must be how they're polluting the water. Destroy it. Uh, I think I just made things worse. Tried to overcharge the pump. A lot of extra tar just got released into the system, and that is bad news. Next time, blow up the keg. You'll take a bath in that crap, but it'll save lives. This could be an opportunity to become bad, but I kind of want to be good for now so I can get those upgrades. I mean, I, I got to this point. Charging this pump will keep me high and dry. But it also means that everyone in this water main will get sick. Whose health means more? <laughs> Mine or theirs? A moralist is, huh? I kind of want the red now.
as I do. for the people in those buildings, Cole. Five hundred TV channels. That's crazy. I pretty much gave up watching TV. I, I can't even remember the last time I watched TV. I'm gonna get this thingy. kid for the age of the internet. Yeah, I, I watch TV all the time. It's the first thing I did when I came home from school was watch TV. thing up there.
see like two more blue thingies. Burning them alive to melt down whale fat? wood to the arctic would have been too expensive the ping what how do you pronounce that penguin well yeah i mean what is that though that is that a whale i've never heard of that i used to be a big whale uh fanatic i've never heard of that kind of whale before penguin stuff off the water towers. Penguin. Yeah, right. We'd have been better off without your help. Well, penguins live in the Antarctic. Uh, not the Arctic. Are you talking about the Antarctic or the Arctic? Arctic is North Pole. Antarctic is South Pole. Dumping all kinds of tar into the system. Yeah, yeah, stop nagging me. Yeah, um, Arctic animals in include polar bears, uh, Arctic wolves. Actually, the Arctic has a greater diversity of. Uh, fauna than the Antarctic. Antarctic is penguins, orcas, some kind of uh, flying bird. I forgot the name of it. It's a very ugly bird. Not a lot, not a lot of, uh, not as much diversity as the Arctic. Alright, where to next? I was already here, but it wouldn't let me do it.
really. <laughs> 600 million. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, before the age of petroleum, um, whale blubber, blubber being fat, was uh, what they used in pissed about lamb. This. Who the hell are you? Just a concerned citizen. Ironically now enough, petroleum saved, uh, saved whales from extinction. He leaped toward me, his icy fingers digging into my head. For a moment there was nothing, and then he started to show me things. Horrible things. Beyond description. And in that space, he to use whale oil? I understood. He was showing me the future. Death and destruction yeah, that's true, they do. on an unimaginable Don't scale. As he released me, I knew that he was responsible for all of it. That he had opened Pandora's box, and it wasn't ever gonna close, and that that damn ray spear was somehow involved. And then he was gone. Yeah. Um. Basically, uh, before the age of petroleum, they would hunt whales for their whale blubber. Um, because they would use it in lanterns. Um, Get on back here, brother. Got some beverages chilling for you. After the age of petroleum, some countries continued to hunt whales for their food. Uh, the two countries that hunt whales for their food are Norway and Japan. Um, for their meat, rather. Um, that's why, you know, if you ever go to these countries, please do not eat whale meat. Because all that does is it just encourages them to continue their their whale hunts. Because you can't you can't uh, raise whales in a farm; they're too big. So they they just kill existing uh, populations that breed naturally and therefore inefficiently um, until they're hunted to extinction. actually gonna close up for tonight um, because I didn't uh, actually I don't actually have anything to eat here so I have to order like a pizza or something and I better order it before it gets too late <laughs> and they no longer deliver so I want to thank everyone for streaming with me thank you so much we're gonna pick this up again tomorrow I'm enjoying the game it's a very fun game actually it's surprisingly fun uh, I can't believe I went for so long without uh, playing this game, but uh, I guess better late than never. So hope to see you all again tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.